there and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about a beautiful 4BHK that we designed for a joint family. We've used some amazing and interesting materials and lighting, so stay tuned to find out more about it. Hey there, I'm Tanvi Sikseria, the founder and CEO of Little Miss Designer, a luxury interior design firm. If you're here to find out about the tips, hacks and tricks on interior design, then you're at the right place. So let's dive into the beautiful designing of the 4BHK we were talking about. When the client called us up to do up their home, one of the first things that they mentioned to us is that they wanted every room to have its own story. Along with this, every room should bring out their own personality and should make them feel like they are actually living at home. So, to do this, that is exactly what we did. Keeping this in mind is exactly how we designed their home. In this video, we're going to be talking about more in detail about these rooms. 1. The master bedroom. 2. The master bathroom along with the walk-in area. 2. The guest bedroom. 3. The extra room which they converted into the temple room and utility area. 4. The living room along with the dining room. And 5. The kitchen. 1. Master bedroom. Now before getting into the materials and the technicalities of it, first let's understand the furniture placement of the space. So right when you enter the room, we have given a nice cute shelf corner where you can display your artifacts. Moving ahead, we have given a big bed right in the centre of the room along with two side tables. In the corner, we have placed a chair through which you can sit and read and you can also watch the view on the window. Right opposite the bed, we have created a sleep TV unit. And on the right of the bed, we've created a gesso area which can also be used as a study area. Now first let's talk about the corner shelves. The corner shelves are the white shelves which we have made right at the corner of the room because this would be protruding to going from the bedroom to the toilet. Hence, we could not give those rectangular shelves but gave it slightly in a curved form. Now as we wanted the shelves to be white, we gave it in a nice white matte peel finish. Now since this was white, we wanted to put in some beautiful artifacts. To highlight these artifacts, we've created some lights under each shelf as you can see. These lights are made as a small gap in between the shelves so that it is concealed and you cannot see the fixture of much but just the light which showcases directly onto the artifact making it even more beautiful. The second is the bed. The bed that we've designed is a hydraulic bed. So basically, if you just lift up the bed, you can store all your extra items inside and at the same time, you've given it a very sleek design so it looks beautiful as well. Now, what we've done for the finishing is, we've given like a pinkish red color laminate which goes all across. This laminate is of a very good quality so it does not have any scratches that you need to be concerned about. Matching the bed is where we have given you some beautiful side tables. The side tables are of the same material as the bed. But if you see the detailing of it, the handles are not there. We have in fact cut it in a slant to add to some little exquisitivity in the design of the side table. Matching the bed and the side table laminate, we have given a beautiful headboard. The headboard is of a velvety suede finish which is of a similar vinish colour matching to the bed. Since we added a bit of a pop colour onto the bed and the side table, we decided to go with a very simple black and white checkered chair right at the corner. To highlight this, we've given a very cute hanging light right above it. So if one would like to read at night, you could put off all the other lights and just put on that one single hanging light and actually read your book calmly. Now we all know how important a TV has become in one's bedroom. As much as I would prefer watching it in the living room, some people actually prefer watching it in the bedroom. So what we've done is, for the TV unit, we've tried to keep it as sleek as possible. We've given two shelves on the side and kept a simple opening in the centre. The reason why it is open in the centre is so that you can put your setter box or any other machine or equipment that you want to put. Now when you put these equipments inside, it tends to resist some of the heat outside, which is why if it is not kept in the open, it may heat up and get spoiled really fast, which is why we recommend it to keep it open. And the last furniture in this room is the dresser table. This is one of my favourite parts of the room. The reason why I like designing the dresser table is because instead of going with a regular look, we decided to give a bit of a curve and to add a little circle into the mirror as well. If you see what we've done is the edges of the, of the table have a bit of a curve 
which has a slight color in it too. And the rest of the entire table is white. What we've done is we've given two simple drawers so that one can store all the makeup, all the brushes, all the things divided well inside the drawer and a big round mirror right above it so one can get ready luxuriously. To highlight the mirror of the dresser table even more, we've created a back lighting behind it. Not only does this help to get the right form of light when you're getting ready, but it also adds to the ambience of the space. It's one of the most stunning ways to decorate your dresser table. Now since we've understood a little about the furniture detailing of the space, let's understand a little bit more about the color combination on the walls and the decorative items. So basically since the furniture had a more of pink and white going all throughout, we decided to give simple off-white walls onto all the wall panes along with the ceiling. What we've done is we've chosen an off-white shade of Morning Glory from Asian Paints. This really helps to enhance those colors pop in the furniture. This bedroom had beautiful large windows. Not that we wanted to cover it, but in case if the client wanted to shut it during the day, what we've done is we've used these beautiful wine color curtains, which are actually matching the bed. And to make it look even more simpler, we've created white transparent-ish shears. Well, they're not technically transparent, they're more translucent as what happens is only a certain percentage of the sunlight comes through it. But if you want a complete blackout, then you would need to draw the complete curtains, not just the shears. Hence, we've created color onto the curtains only. Since we couldn't find a rug that was going well with this space, we actually customized one. We took all the colors from the room and got it infused into this one piece. It looks so beautiful and it goes so well with the space. There are small colors of pink, white, grey and all of it mixed beautifully. This rug is placed at the right place under the bed, making sure that the entire beautiful marble flooring is not covered at the same time. Now that we've understood the color scheme, we've understood the furniture detailing, let's understand a little more about the lighting. Now the lighting, we wanted to create a very beautiful look for the entire room. So we've used a mix of task lighting as well as ambient lighting. If you see above the bed, we've given linear profile lights, which looks so sleek and beautiful. And we've given a nice ambient light with the hanging light near the chair. Above the dresser table, you can see that spectacular round mirror light. Along with this, we've given the regular task lights, which are just above on the ceiling. Rather, I would say fall ceiling. The regular task lights are usually 6000K or known as white light, or it can even be 4000K, which is known as a daylight. However, this client wanted very bright light, so we went ahead with the 6000K light. But the ambient light have to be a 3K, which is a 3000K warm colored light. These lights are slightly yellowish in color, but really helps to bring out the ambience and really makes the space look much more cozy. Along with the lights, we also went with the liberation of choosing the Norris's Switchbox. This is a great brand if you want to use, as they come in spectacular color options. We've chosen the grey switch board with the little darker grey switches inside it which was a complete contrast to this colour combination but at the same time looked really nice with it. To beautify the space a little more, we have put in some amazing well chosen artifacts as well as plants and planters all across the room. For the bedding, we've put a greyish colour bed sheet which contrasted really really well with that wine colour. The cushions had a bit of a white and black print to it and the first cushion, the slightly smaller one, was matching the bed colour again. The bed sheet and the pillow covers were exactly the same colour. So this contrast of the wine colour and the slightly greyish darkish colour went very well together. So to conclude, we designed a beautiful room for the couple where one loves to read and one loves to get ready and they absolutely loved it. and the walk-in area. Since the client loved the colour green, we decided to use that as the pop colour for the basin. We chose a beautiful bottle green colour, placed the basin on a white satuario marble top. Technically, it's known as a quartz if you're familiar with it, which is a beautiful material to use. 
Now to enhance this basin area a little more, we created a nice ambient mirror looking square right above the basin and created a backlight around it. Also to add further lighting to it, we created beautiful two wall lights and placed it on the sides of the mirror. So then when someone is going to get ready or just enjoy their space in the bathroom, this is just what you need. For this bathroom minus the pop color which we've used in the basin, we also try to enhance that with a small putty growing all across from the ceiling. But besides this, we wanted to give a very earthy, natural look to the bathroom. So for that, we selected beige beautiful wall tiles and a slightly darker tone for the floor tiles. As for the sanitary fittings, we chose the Jaguar fittings which are both economical and look brilliant as well. These were the series known as the Cubic series which we chose the flush plates, the WC, the shower features, everything. One of the hacks that we use for the bathroom which we highly recommend for you to use as well is instead of giving protruding shelves in the shower area to put in your soaps, shampoo bottles etc. It's much better if you can create a small niche which goes within the wall. This actually helps in saving that space and being able to store everything that you require while you want a shower. So this was the overall look of the space and to continue the little pop green colour we also used it as the laminate in the counter below the basin. And we used the same Norris's grey and white switch plates which we've used for the bedroom so that there is a continuity happening between the bedroom and the bathroom. Between the bedroom and the bathroom was the walk-in area which had beautiful shutters going from the floor to the ceiling. For the walk-in wardrobe, what we've done is we've created the full height wardrobe but however, it is very difficult to reach beyond a certain height, right? So we divided the wardrobe shutters into two parts. We did the first shutter height at 7 feet and the rest of it into the overhead storage. One side of the wardrobe had a white plain back painted glass which looks stunning and on the other side we create a mushroom grey colour laminate finish so both opposite each other complemented each other very very well. Now inside the wardrobe we created drawers, shutters, hanging exactly as for the client's required. Instead of giving those standard handles, we decided to customize the handles by using those white beautiful profile handles which look so sleek and beautiful for this design. For the ceiling, we gave the same off-white colour, paint colour, but on that we've created those linear concealed profile lights which look so sleek. Now let's talk about the second bedroom, the guest bedroom. This one was honestly one of my favourites. The client told me that she's going to be delivering really soon, so it had to be something that was cute, but at the same time she was an adult, so I had to keep that in mind. So what we've done is we've created this bedroom with a lot of cute elements and it looks really really pretty. So to understand this room a little better, let's first understand the furniture placement. There was a nice big floating bed right in the centre along with two floating shelves on the sides. On the left of this was an arched mirror and on the right of that there is a wardrobe. Right in front of the bed there is a TV unit and on the right of that there was a bookshelf. Now let's understand a little more about the materials, lighting and etc of this room. The most stunning feature of this room is the bed, so let me get right into that. The bed was a nice sleek floating bed which had no storage but that's what the client wanted. But then we suggested that storage is very important for everyone. So what we did is, we created storage at the same time gave it a floating look. We took the skirting which is known as the structure which holds the bed, slightly further in one foot inside the bed, so that when you are looking at it you can barely see the structure and it looks floating. But actually when you open the bed through the hydraulic fittings, you can actually start things. How cool is that right? The headboard above the bed had beautiful striped leatherite of the same colour as the bed, the green. And to match that, we further put an Asian paint green colour paint all across that wall. Now since this was such a nice bold colour which we've used across the room, we had to tone it down with the rest of the furniture item. We used a nice beautiful arched mirror along with the cane hanging light on top of that. And on the right of it, we went with very simple wardrobes with an entire look of wood and white. And in front of the bed, again, we kept a very simple TV unit with white. The bookshelf, again, is one of my favourite parts of this room. So if you've heard of the saying called BU, that is what we've enhanced into the handles of the bookshelf. 
and we've kept the entire thing as white back plated glass. So which we've used is that these have a mechanism on it as a push pull mechanism. The minute you push the shutter, it opens up and you can actually store all your books and everything that you require. Some niches are open, not all of them are shut. In these open niches, we've actually utilized to put in some beautiful artifacts. And to enhance these artifacts, we've put these LED small COB lights which are concealed and they place their lighting so well onto that artifact piece. Further, to mute this bright green color in the room, we've used beige flooring tiles all across the floor and we've kept these little darker brown shades with the curtains along with white clear shears so that the sunlight can pass through these amazing beautiful windows. I feel that to have the curtains going all the way from the floor to the ceiling really makes the space look even larger. However, we had to put an AC unit panel in, but what we did is we concealed the channels of the curtains right below that, so that it also acts as a design element and at the same time give a full heighted curtain feel to the space. You see this beautiful bedroom, the colors that we've used are a beautiful green which is all going all across the bed wall, but to mute that, we have smartly used white and a little bit of a light wood all across the room and shades of beige and brown. So what happens is that some people are afraid to use a bit of bold color but I personally feel if you want to use a little bit of bold color, be smart about it and mute it with the things around it. We asked Mirror along with the other things is one of my favorite parts of this bedroom. What we've done is we've given a very simple 7 heighted feet mirror but along the top of it arched a bit. And to further make this look even more interesting, we've created a backlit and given LED strips around it. Now, this was not enough. We wanted to add a little touch of personality. And my client loved game. They loved organic material. So we created and put up a beautiful cane light hanging from the ceiling, which really helps to enhance the height of the room and at the same time make the place look much more softer with the material used in. For that brown on that curtain which we've used, we try to light it up a little bit from the pelmet lighting which we've done all across the pelmet if you see, right going from the left to the right of the room, right above the windows. The whole idea of making the bed and the side tables floating was because we wanted to give a bit of a seamless design and since we were using such a dark colour, we had to make sure that the furniture was light and it went well together. The niches above the bed is also one of the great features of this room. If you see there are small four niches, initially we had to design this because there was a bit of an error or you could rather say a bit of a problem that came up on site but there was suddenly a structure of an RCC coming in, in our way. But instead of letting it be a problem, we try to find a solution which actually help us make this space look even prettier. So what we did is we created a back paneling and created small niches if you see in form of small circular rectangular shapes and incorporated them with lighting inside. And then we put in some artifacts so that the entire show looks so beautiful. design a bedroom for yourself, would you use some of these features, some of these color combinations? Do let me know in the comment section below. The third bedroom was an extra room, so they wanted to use this as a multi-purpose room. They converted this into two parts. One was for the temple room and second was for the utility room, which was basically to store a lot of items and use it for purposes like ironing etc. The temple room was something that we segregated with the help of a curtain. And what we did is we put a backlit acrylic beautiful lighting setup and under that we gave some drawers made of laminate. This laminate was a beautiful grey colour which went super well with the white. Now what we wanted to do was we wanted to make sure that this room does not look like two separate rooms completely. So what we tried to do is the laminate which we used for the drawers under the temple, we tried to utilize the same laminate on the storage units outside of the other room where it had the utility section. In the utility section if you see, we've created this beautiful cupboard where it's so simple to use and so simple to store things. It's got a full height 7 feet for the first shutter and an overhead above that. Once you open the shutter, there are shelves inside in which you can store or hang clothes if you require. There is also a hidden ironing board inside these wardrobes. 
So they managed to utilize the space really well as they could use it for two purposes at the same time. And that's where interior designing and all of these new hardware, new technologies and new ideas really helped to achieve. Now since we gave these beautiful laminates on the shutters which had a shade of brown and grey, we decided to go with a dark wooden flooring for the floor. So we've had a discussion on the three bedrooms that we've designed. The master bedroom, the guest bedroom and the utility come temple room. Which one was your favourite? I think if I had to think about it, I think my favourite room was definitely the guest room. But further discussing into this video, let's understand the living room and the dining room and then further the last is the kitchen which is one of the most important rooms to discuss because not only do you need to understand the outside finishing but you also need to understand how we've used the hardware inside and saved up a lot of space. So stay tuned till the end of the video. For the living room and the dining room, we've taken a very interesting colour palette which is as simple as grey and white but how we've used this is the uniqueness in it. So let's understand a little more about how we've designed this entire space. In the living room, we selected two beautiful sets of sofas in grey leather. There was a three-seater and a two-seater. To going well with having a conversation and actually being able to use the space well, we added the centre table. This was a nesting table concept. Now how this works is you have two heighted centre tables, one which is very easy to move around so that you can use it well and one which is slightly heavier so you can store things and it's in its place. The lighter one is usually made up of metal and marble but it is very light so you can easily move it across. Now that the living room is understood, this was just the furniture but what makes the space cozier? A space that needs to be made cozier, the perfect answer is a rug. We chose this beautiful patterned weaved rug which we actually customized since we didn't get anything ready made. It is so beautiful and goes well with the marble flooring. Right in front of the sofa we made a sleek white TV unit. On the walls we created panels through which we hid all our wiring inside. And under that we gave these drawers through which you can store all your equipment or anything that you require related to the TV. To complement the grey colour on the sofa, we used the same colour on the walls and a part of it on the ceiling. This actually made the space look more monotonous but at the same time really brought out that feature in the space. Now what happens when you try to go for a monochrome look, you need to make sure that there is a pop of colour in some places, which is what we used blue curtains on both ends of the windows for. Blue curtains really help to complement with the white shears through which the sunlight could come in and make the space look even prettier. On the sofas, we gave some off-white looking cushions which had a self print on it so it really came out of it and on the centre table to beautify it even further we added some planters with the gold base and some purple flowers with a bit of colour everywhere. Now let's understand a little bit about the dining room which was a connecting room to the living room. While designing the dining area, since it was in the same room space as the living room, we had to make sure that the colour combination continued to be the same. So we selected the stunning dining chairs. This had a grey leather finish going all across it and a slight gold framework going on the back and the legs. The same gold continued as it matched with the centre table of the living room. Now to further enhance this, we designed the dining table. The dining table had a very unique style to it. It had a roundish looking edge towards the end even though it was a rectangle and below that we had these slant interesting legs going across it. Since the dining table shape was so unique, we decided to continue that onto the ceiling. What we did is, we created this beautiful profile lighting that matched the exact same size and style of the dining table shape. This was one of the main features of this room. If you see, it looks so beautiful and unique, right? Towards the corner, we were wasting a lot of space, so we decided to add some shelves and create some artifact looks all across with nice lighting going around it. Usually when people select the lighting for a room, the light fixture is quite prominent, right? But we've selected this light which is almost seamless looking as it dissolves into the ceiling. It's actually one of the nicest lights that I have used so far. And to complement this, we have used the linear profile lights going all across the room. This is in the 6000K, again the white light. And the rest of the lights which we've used are the 3K, which is the yellow light, which actually helps to warm the entire space up. 
it's hard to decide which is the favorite part of this room to be honest whether it's the grey sofa or the ceiling design with the profile light or the dining chairs with the unique gold finish rims it's really not something i can say but let me know which part of the room you like the most The last room that we need to talk about is the kitchen. The kitchen is one of the most important rooms to talk about because it's not only important on how the space looks from the outside, but it's also important to understand the functionality that we use in the inside with the storage and toilet. We have used a very interesting modern color combination for the kitchen, going with the wines, gray and white. How we've done it is we've used gray shutters, gray drawers, and all the storage units are in a form of gray laminate. To complement this and add a little bit of a pop of color, we've also added a beautiful wine tile going all across between the overhead and the under counter shutters. Now this adds a little feature because everything else is grey and white, right? One of the important features of the kitchen is the equipment unit. Now it is very difficult to access the unit if the microwave is in one place, oven is in another place. It is always better to keep all of it aligned in one space, in one unit. Now how we look into this when designing it is we usually make sure that the heights are taken into consideration. While using the microwave and oven, we try to use something more at a 5 feet level height as it is easy to access. Whereas we put wicker baskets at a slightly lower height as you can bend down and pull it to store all your tomatoes and onions. Right on top, we use it to put like extra items such as things which you don't require on a daily basis as it is hard to reach to that height. Next to this, we put in the nice tall big fridges which people have. It could either be a double door or a single door. When designing the kitchen, of course it is important about how it looks from the exteriors, but it is also important how the internal fixtures are fixed. Some of the companies that we recommend for this are Hetage, Happy, etc. And the channels which you should use are to be something that does not take up too much space. So tandem channels are the best for these. To understand some more about the kitchen hacks and some of the internals that you can use to organize your kitchen, you can check out this video. But to get back into this topic, let's understand a little bit about the designing perspective of this room. So what we've done is we've selected the switch balls of the Norris's brand which complement really well with the laminate as it's a color combination of white and grey. And the fans which we've used is the Atomsburg fans as this really helps to keep the space cool. We've also created like an exhaust fan which you can also put a chimney if you would like for better ventilation. For maximum storage, we usually recommend to give storage units which go all the way to the ceiling. But sometimes this can be overpowering. So what we usually recommend is to keep these colors simple, more like off-white, whites, nudes and pastels so it doesn't hit your face. And the under-counter storage units can be slightly more colorful or darker colors as it does not make the space look any smaller. So this was a quick insight about the project that we designed for this family and they absolutely loved it and so did we. I hope you enjoyed this video and found this video informative. If there was anything particular that you want to ask or find out about more, then please do comment in the section below. Thank you.